In today's video, we're opening old school vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we are back with another epic video where we are opening some old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs. I have 24, uh, there's a couple that are like, the, the newest stuff is 2 Tune Chaos, but for the most part, everything is like 5Ds and like original and GX. So we have a very good variety here. We have a first edition blister for Magic Ruler and hopefully we can pull like a Secret Rare Serpent Night Dragon or something crazy like that. Very excited for that. Before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Slide for the Sky Dragon, Dark Magician, and a quarter century rare Neos. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below Hello. Will we pull anything crazy in this video to enter into that giveaway? This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is an auction platform that I sell on quite often, and we are doing a stream tonight at 4 p.m. Central. And this is a stream I've not done in quite a while. We are selling old school Yu-Gi-Oh singles such as Injection Fairy Lily, Gate Guardian. We got some ultimate rares. Like there's a lot of really cool things that we're going to be selling tonight and it's going to be going up for auction to you guys. So if you want to be there, be there at 4 p.m. Central. You can also get free credit. If you use my link in the description right now, go to Whatnot. You get $15 free credit for your first purchase on Whatnot. I will have tons of things available, be it singles on the auctions. We'll have other things on the buy it now, like graded cards, booster box. I'm going to have a lot of current slash semi-current booster boxes on the buy it now this week so get excited if you like buying booster boxes and there will be a ton of giveaways so you don't even have to buy anything for a lot of those giveaways most of the giveaways will be to everyone international or not then there will be a few for the buyers so i appreciate you guys who are on the stream but most of them will be for you guys who are the viewers so if you just want to come watch the stream potentially win a giveaway you might as well do it it's going to be super fun i am super pumped to do this because we have not done a single stream in quite a while and i have a lot of things to sell so make sure you're there to see what i have thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video. I'm going to be grabbing stuff out of this box right here, which is full of a bunch of vintage stuff. We're going to be selling it off. It includes like faded cards, uh, secret rares, misprints. So if you want to be part of the whatnot stream tonight, click the link in the description, go down there to the description, get $15 free credit for new users. I appreciate if you guys do that. So go do that if you can. And let's get into the video. Old school opening. I'm very excited because we're going to be doing old school sales. We might as well open up some old school packs, which if we pull something old school, it might be for sale. If it's not like gradable, if it's like a nine or something, I might sell it there okay here we go i am very excited to sell some singles tonight but i'm also really excited to open some of these packs because we have a really nice variety here with a lot of nice potential i'm going to start off with the tune chaos pack a uh, lot of potential to get in tune chaos can we get a collector rare we have a witch of the black forest a fluffle angel so uh okay sangan a little little go format action speaking of go format tomorrow is the next episode of wheeled goat seems like you guys have really enjoyed the series so far don't forget to go check it out it's goat format with a bunch of creators that you guys know and i've had a really really good time doing it so far so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it go check out the playlist if you haven't there's this will be episode six i think episode six yeah episode six so uh yeah, pretty long series for us. We don't usually do six episode series unless you include the Basia. <laughs> Definitely done one there. Oh, and an ultra rare mirror force. OK, this kind of looked like something. And I was like, oh, we have one more card. That's literally the second best card behind the Dark Paladin mate. Well, the Polly and Dark Magician Girl probably very similar because of how many reprints mirror forces had. But one of two ultra rares in the set. That's a great start to this opening. I'm already really enjoying this. All right. Mirror force is really, really awesome. Let's just open this other tune chaos because it's sort of the new one, even though it is a four year old pack at this point. It's much newer than the others. If we can get a collector rare BLS, that'd be pretty awesome. We have the uh, Master Odean, Light Pulsar Dragon, and a Toon Terror. Yeah, it's so, man, just pulling a random collector rare is so, so hard. Just feels like you always get a super. Stardust Overdrive, uh, we have pulled Archlord Christia before. We have pulled Majestic Star. I would love to pull either of those. Uh, again, it'd be totally be fine. The Ghost Rare especially would be awesome. I think we pulled Majestic Star maybe twice. At least once, maybe twice. Never in first dead, though, so that would be cool one day. Three from the back. Let's go. We have the Regulus. A quick draw singer on. Speaking of 5Ds, Roar of the Earth Bounce, Limit Impulse, Reptilian Gorgon, Iron Core Armor, Gateway of the Six. So you do got to do the flippity flop. I thought you did, but I was like, we'll just, we'll just try it out the first time. Gateway of the Six. Pretty nice card for Six Samurai. Super rare. Very, very cool. I will take that. We have two foils already. This is a very good start to this opening. I am loving this. Let's go to something that's not Stardust Overdrive. Let's do an Ancient Prophecy. Okay. 
So 24 total packs will be open today. Already two foils, uh, not counting the tune, tune uh, chaos because obviously those guaranteed. Here we go, Ancient Prophecy. We have pulled the uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon recently, so I'm not expecting to do that again. I mean, let's be honest, getting the Ghost Rare that close together would be pretty insane. Scary Moth is, uh, he's basically, yeah, it's like he's like a Vanity's Ruler, but it's a once per turn Vanity's Ruler. We have the Quacky Mirror Boulder. Add one with a sword, Ancient Crimson Ape. Iron Core Luster, Dark Sea Float, Core Reinforcement, and uh, Battle Teleportation. Okay, teleporting in battle. Do we have any doubles of anything else? We do have some Legacy of Darkness Unlimited. I have a first ed pack as well today, so there will be some Legacy of Darkness first edition. Hopefully we can get a Seeker Rare, even if it's unlimited. That'd be amazing. Yada or IFL, Injection Fairy Lily was cooking me lewis uh, aka vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. he was waxing me with injection fairy lily at uh, collecticon we have gray wing rucks a special uh ready for intercepting we're finally getting lewis to get go format like he just had a bunch of old cards that kind of put his deck together he's getting into go we're gonna get him into a fengshing mirror the patrician of darkness faint plan and we okay 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 shadow tamer taming those shadows that is not what we're looking for let's go back to stardust i don't want to uh open the one ofs just yet one two three and the flippity flop so we can put the rare right to the back solitaire magician regulus we have wolf of sheep's clothing slip summon ritual buster ritual forest herculean power and also by the way uh Dijin presider after we reveal this i'll tell you oh oh Oh, okay. A Max Warrior, super rare. Another foil. We're doing okay so far. We have three foils now. Kind of killing it. But yeah, if you were expecting the uh, Light of Destruction this week, unfortunately, because it's from Europe, it's taking a lot longer to get here. So I think it's going to be next week when we have Light of Destruction openings. And uh, there will be a Whatnot stream for that next Thursday as well. That one will be, will be at 5 p.m. Central. So if you guys want to be there for Light of Destruction, okay, here's another one of the faded ones. Four faded cards, so weird, so weird. But if you guys want to grab some Light of Destruction, it's going to be hard to get because it's from Europe, if you're from the US. So I will have some on whatnot, so keep an eye out for that. We have Wolf Ox Weeder, we have Secrets of the Bandit. Spring of Rebirth, Throw Stone Units. Super Robo Yaru, the Bark of Dark Ruler. Okay. Ah! Seeker Rare! Yada Garasu! Oh my goodness! So four faded cards, so it's an error faded pack, which we, we found a certain like little section of those. And then there's a Yada Garasu in the pack. Oh my goodness, and it's bent. It is bent. Everybody, the Yada is bent. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you see that bump right there where the light kind of kind of hits that bump? It's got a little bit of a bend to it. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, the way you can sort of tell is basically how the light reflects. So it doesn't go cleanly across. Like it, it kind of has that break right there. You see that? And that means the card is a little bit bent. It's not horribly bent, but it's not like the Dark Magician Girl that had a terrible looking corner. But that does hurt a little bit. A, a bent Gata Garasi right out of the pack. Oh man, that's a sick pull. And it hurts a little bit to see that. Fortunately, it's unlimited, so it's not like crazy valuable, but it yeah, the pain and suffering of damaged cards right out of the pack is never fun. Beautiful looking Seeker Rare though, so I'll take it. Look, I'll take a Bent Yada over a Rare any day. I'll take it. All right, we are definitely opening some nice cards today. Definitely opening some nice cards. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, I think it's Bent. Oh, that was, that's sad. I was, I wasn't as bad as the Dark Magician Girl. That was really crazy. Uh, this is still pretty bad, though. Uh, oh, man. Yada with the bend right in the middle. We have Roar of the Earthbound. Let's see if we can get a Ghost Rare to make up for it. We have Quick Draw Synchron. Gemini Counter. Enlightenment. Relinquish Spider. Ground Spider. The Dark Rabbit. And we have Reptilian Sila with a creepy no eyeball centaur thing with it's got a mouth where like right where you know there probably shouldn't be a mouth you know what i'm saying kind of creepy kind of creepy i'm not gonna lie okay let's open the last legacy of darkness unlimited this probably this, this could have another faded cards i wonder is this my last one of these i don't think it is i think i have a few more okay no faded here it's so weird those faded cards uh one two three four we have the spirits invitation twin Ed wolf i keep hitting this mic sorry about that if it's making sound great yes we have bubble crash Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuve, Bad Reaction to Samochi, Robo Lady, 
and the Lesser Fiend Machamp. Machamp is back at it again. As long as the bots are in face up on the field, monsters destroyed by this monster in battle are removed from play instead of being sent to the graveyard. Interesting effect, not too bad. I've been reading a lot more old school effects now that, uh, you know, doing Wield Goats, we're playing with a lot more random cards. Let's open one first at Flaming Eternity. This is a retail pack. If it was a hobby pack, it'd be 25. Um, but either way, there are some good Flaming Eternity retail cards, such as Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. If we get that ulti, that is a big time card. That would be pretty amazing. I'm trying to think of what other ones there are. I'm sure there are. Okay, these are not one to pull apart. That's probably not an ulti sign. Let's see, though. We have the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. Threatening Roar. No Ruxin special. The Space Mambo. A Space Mambo floating in the vast universe. This living relic was found in the ruins of Super Civilization on Alfard 4. What is Alfard 4? What's a Space Mambo? It says a Space Mambo. The name is Space Mambo. Doesn't it? The, the, the description should tell you what it is. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. Weird. Mecha Dog Marin is not, it is not the dead Marin yet. We have Whirlwind Prodigy. Elemental Burst. Or maybe that's after it's the mech. Maybe it becomes mecha after. I'm not sure. Majugai or Panda. Armed Samurai Benkai. Penalty game. No. Oh, I forgot. I was thinking there was one more because there's. I was thinking a rare and a foil. This is before that time. 20, 2004, I think, for Flaming Eternity. So they didn't do that back then. Okay. Let's do Stardust Overdrive. Last pack. We still, by the way. Oh, actually, let's open Spell Ruler because we have a Magic Ruler First Edition uh, Blister Pack. Don't forget about that. So let's do the Spell Ruler. That's kind of a double. This is a 2010, I think, because there's no date. 2010 Spell Ruler Pack. So pretty old. 14 years old. Three, four from the back. Flippity flop, I think, on these. Maybe. I can't remember. We have Giant Turtle. Chain Energy. These once are rocks and special. Slot Machine. Where's the little brother? Come on. No, the toll. Pay up, buddy. Horn of Lights. The Reliable Guardian. Koto Dama. A Mega Ryuran. And a Gravekeeper Servant. Unless your opponent sends one card from the top of his to the graveyard, he cannot declare an attack. All right, all right, all right. Stardust Overdrive. Here we go. Let's try this one. Oh, I know why this is so zoomed up. I didn't actually zoom out this time. I did the uh, the normal one. That's fine. That's fine. You guys can see. Okay. One, two, three. Flippity flop, floppity flip. Let's get some. We're on a little bit of a cold streak after the, the damaged Yada. We have Herculean Power. Spider Spider. Dark Spider. Spider Spider, then Dark Spider, back to back, then Spider Web. That's Spider Spider and Spider. Level Eater, Energy Bravery, Dark Rabbit, and a Gemini Spider. I think that damage Yada just cursed the rest of the opening. Like, we haven't pulled anything since. Let's try you, Raging Battle. What say you? Will you be amazing? Will you be terrible? One, two, three. Please don't be terrible. Please. Be uh oh. Upside down card? Wait, these cards are all upside down. Wait a second. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's fix all the cards. We have oh, the Simo special has been pulled. Level returner, emissary from Pandemonium, proof of powerlessness, lava dragon, urgent set. This hedge guard, calming magic, and a vanguard of the drag. Speaking of Simo, he had never heard of that card when we played. That's what he said. I'm sure he had. He's heard of every card. Okay, Angel prophecy. Let's pull something nice. One, two, three from the back. Flippity flop, floppity flip. What will we pull when we rip? We have Black Wing Fane, the Steel Chain, Pixie Ring, Morphtronic Magnon Bar, Fossil Dig, Ancient Crimson Eight. We have Genetic Woman. She's genetic. She's a woman. Ancient Draw, Kuribon, little cute Kuribo, and Shark Cruiser. The Cruising of the Sharks. Let's drop this. First edition, Shining Darkness. The Shining of the Darkness. One, two, three. Flippity flop, first edition pack. So like big time potential in here. Ghost Rare Blackwing Dragon. What else is in this set? I think there's a few good cards, but I don't, haven't opened it a ton, so I'm not totally sure. But obviously the Blackwing Dragon's a good one. We have Power Breaker. We have Ronin Toten. Blackwing Ghibli, the Searing Wind, Hunter of the Black Feathers. Delta Try and Dragon Laser. Oh, we are man, the Yada has cursed this opening. The curse of the Yada Garasu. Not the legacy of Yada. We have curse. Okay, this one is. Oh, is that a hobby or retail pack? Probably retail, but I really don't know. I'm trying to think of what the retail code is for Power of the Duelist. I don't know it off the top of my head. If it's hobby though, this could, I mean, this is crazy. There's some good Power of the Duelist retail though. So either way, it could be nice. We have Royal Writ of Taxation. Alien Skull. Rallis the Starbird. We have Ambulance Roid. Ambulance Rescue Roid. Contact. Alien Gray. Fossil Excavation. 
Overload fusion, is that it? Oh, the overload fusion rare. No, I recently pulled this in ultimate rare. Unfortunately, that's not the card that we're looking for. If you guys have made it this far in the video, don't forget to check out Whatnot. Use my $15 free credit for new users. There's gonna be a live stream at 4 p.m. Central today. Who knows? We might even give away something cool like that Yada Garasu. I don't know, we'll have to see. That's uh, the damaged Yada right out of the pack. All right, Cyberdark Impact. I don't know if this is hobby or retail either, but it's first edition. But the, there's a lot of retail of those sets, so I'm guessing retail. Either way, Vanity's Ruler, Vanity Scene would be great. Let's see what we get. Barrier Statue, Linear Accelerator, Abaki, Ritual Forgone, Combo Fighter, Flame Ogre, Vanity's Call, and a Combo Fighter along with the Combo. No, Combo Master along with the Combo Fighter. There we go. Combo Master is the one we already pulled. A few more packs. We got six left. They're all first dead, I think. Except, no, maybe Dark Crisis is not. I think that's the only one. So five first dead packs. Uh, this one is retail. So retail, The Lost Millennium. Something like Ancient Gear Beast or something like that. This is not the best retail set. Impenetrable Formation. We have Medusa Orm. Pretty crazy card. And Goat. Lone Wolf. Crazy card. Dummy Golem. Dummy Golem that I cannot pull. Come on. We have Level Conversion Lab. Elemental Hero Clayman. Oh, man, these are all stuck together. What's going on? Whirlwind Prodigy. I think it's a trap. And Kazaki Self-Destruct. That was a really hard pack to open for some reason, but we made it through somehow. Oh, oh, this is First Dead. First Dead Ancient Sanctuary. Interesting. That might be a hobby code. Doesn't really matter. It's only the secret rare for this set. So it's not as important. Either, I mean, any foil would be great. It would be great to pull Zaborg. It'd be great to pull an ultra rare of some kind, like Dark Magic Attack, Burst Stream of Destruction, Enemy Controller Centered would be great. Desert Sunlight, we have the Spirit Caller, Blessings of the Nile, Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master, pretty good card. Second Sarcophagus, we have the Three Amblacuda, Earthquake, Piranha Army, and the Asian of Creation Venus. Pretty good card, pretty good card, but not the best, uh, the best card in terms of value there. All right, let's do the Dark Crisis because it is unlimited. Unlimited DCR, what can we pull? This one feels, this might be from like a glass special edition or something. This one feels newer, which would be like 2007, I think, when those came out, the glass special editions. Okay, one, two, three, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Twin Swords of Flashing Light, Gravity x Row. Alter for Tribute, the Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong, Fairy of the Spring, Didi Trainer, Agido, Agido. We have Guardian Trice and, okay, there could have been a foil because I think it's from the special edition. Okay, three packs left. We have Flaming Eternity. Okay, Rescue Cat, great, great common. Did get a lot of reprints, so it's probably not crazy anymore. Four from the back. Let's see if we can pull a big ultimate rare. Sacred Phoenix, let's go. Never pulled it. Big March of the Animals, Rocks of Special, Element Doom, Golem Century, Rescue Cat's a pretty nice card. We have Refusion, Element Valkyrie, Beast Wolf Swap, and we have Spiral Spirit. Literally, we have not pulled anything since the Yada. Curse of the Yada is real. All right, Legacy of Darkness. Maybe we can turn around the curse by pulling a first dead Yada. How crazy would that be? One, two, three, four. We have Nutrient Z. We have Warrior Digrapher. Dragon Dwelling in the Cave, Spirit's Invitation, Fangshing Mirror, Patrician of Darkness, Faint Plan, Skull Knight number two and Array of Revealing Light, first edition. Nonetheless, a bunch of commons. Leaving us with one more pack, guys. Don't forget what not stream tonight. Go bookmark the stream right now. Get yourself a little $15 discount when you sign up as a new user. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have a lot of cool singles, a lot of things for sale. By the way, this, this poster is broken open, so very easy to open it up. Yep, should still be a Serpent Knight pack. All right, last pack magic. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are less than 10,000 subscribers away from opening every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! History in first edition. TCG, of course, not Japanese or Korean or anything, but 300 plus packs. It's going to be crazy, so make sure you subscribe. Here we go. Magic Ruler first edition. Pull something big. One, two, three, four. We have Metal Fish. Eternal Rest Darth Maul. Horn of Light, give us something big. Toon Summon Skull, Toon Mermaid, Serpent Knight Dragon, Relinquished, Axe of Despair, any of that, High Tide Gijin, we have Boar Soldier, Hamburglar Recipe, Psychic Kappa, The Toon Mermaid, Ultra Rare, First Edition. Centering is terrible on this thing, but that is one heck of a pull. We turned around the Curse of the Atagarasu. Dang, this thing is clean too. The curse of the Yada has ended. We have pulled Toon Mermaid. 
All right, there we go. That's a way to end this video. We started off so hot, went on that gold streak. Beautiful way to end. Don't miss the one out stream at 4 p.m. Central night. It's going to be very awesome. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed the video. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Anesta Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.